Right guys, fact sheet Friday. I missed a few, so I thought I'd have a little look. So we've got the Fent Vario 300. So, there you go. Oh, sorry, not 300, 700. Here you go. So, it costs 162, whatever the currency is of your choice. I'm assuming 150 horsepower. Decent size tractor, to be fair. A variable, so there's no gears. Then you've got 400 litres tank, 38 litres depth, 31 mile an hour, 8.1 tonnes. Fleet Guild trailer, 52,000 of your currency. Uh, 7.5 tonnes bulk trailer, and I'm assuming that is 29.5k cubed metres. Yeah, cubic metres. Iziki, so we've got a new brand. So it was a tractor cost £64,000, 95 horsepower, it's an automatic engine, 120 litres, zero death, uh, 24 mile an hour, and 3.7 tonnes. It's a weeder now, so there's the weeder on the back of this. That's the same one as what's in game. It costs 51, well, it's actually not the same, but it's the same brand. Um, on 19, 51,000 pounds of cost, 1.3 tons in weight, 9 meters wide, requires 80 km, sorry, 80 horsepower, and runs at 7 miles an hour when it's in use. Okay, so we've got ourselves a trailer and a forklift. So we've got a new forklift brand. 55,000. Um, in comparison to the one that's in game in Farm Sim, that is quite a bit more expensive but this is also variable transmission it's got 10 miles an hour the one in game goes 15 and 19 but this this is electric so it has 80 kilowatt hours so i suppose you're paying because it's better for the environment uh 10 mile an hour it runs at 8.1 tons in weight and it's a forklift 57 horsepower nothing exciting Profi liner, which is the trade, cost twenty nine thousand five hundred and seven point seven tons. There it is. There's nothing exciting about it. It's just a trailer. Here we go. So this weird piece of machinery. I've been trying to work out what it is. It looks like it's a blade for signage compacting, from what I can see. So they've got the in the background. There's the new BGA. There's one of them now. It's a one milliwatt. Cost one point five million to buy, and that just inputs your regular stuff and it outputs electricity which i want to see what that's all about digestate and i don't know what that is i think it's bupane and then that's obviously a leveler it says two hundred thousand pounds three sorry four hundred and thirty five horsepower variable transmission 201 liters 12 mile an hour and 8.6 tons here we go so do it for our harvester so, £129,500, 310 horsepower, variable CVT, it's an older style, I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. 555 litres of fuel, very precise there. Uh, 12 mile an hour, 8,500 litres of tank. 12 mile an hour, it drives at uh, 9.7 tonnes and those crop types below. The header, so there's the header. It is a six metre header. It costs thirty thousand pounds, so very cheap. Six mile an hour it runs, one point seven tons it weighs, and it's a harvester header. Here we go. So we've got a Swadro and a Proxima Z. So there's quite a few Zetas we're gonna go through now. So it could be manual or power shift. So I'm assuming that is just both of them manual. £49,500, 117 horsepower, 190 litres of fuel, 24 mile an hour, and 4.6 tonnes. Then the wind rower costs £41,000, 90 horsepower, and is required to use it, 3.3 tonnes, 9.7 metres wide, and 9 miles an hour. There you go. Here we go. Zeta. So Zeta Major, £42,500. Uh, 75 horsepower, 80 litres. It's a manual gearbox on it. There you go. Um, 90 mile an hour it goes. 
and 3.6 tons. So a very slow, very small tractor. I don't think many people have it on their farms. It's the baler. There's one just like this in farms in 19. It's got 120 centimetre pickup, 7 miles an hour. Or is that the bales? Oh, that might be the bales, sorry. 120 centimetres. Uh, it's a baler, 22,000, 1.5 tons, 50 horsepower is required. So that can just about run it. It's got about 25 horsepower spare. Here we go. The Zetor, uh, Forsetra. And then we've got the Rudolph on the back. This is the non Dolly version. Right, so it's 89,500 pounds for the tractor. It can have 117 to 136 horsepower. It's manual, 24 mile an hour. It's got depth, this one does. So it's got 270 litres of fuel and 28 litres of depth. £89,500 to buy. It's a tractor. And it's 5.4 tonnes. There you go. Nothing special. Trailer. So it's a Rudolph TK, sorry, TDK 301RA. Trailer, £32,000. 18.5 to 24.5 cubic meters 5.4 tons bulk trailer as you can see this was the 10th of september which we'll go through in just a second just going to verify we did the first weeks but i haven't done the rest so we'll do the uh, rock picker so we've got massive ferguson 5s and we've got a rock picker there's all the information so it's 105 horsepower the tractor is 76,500 pounds it's a variable CBT engine, 200 litres, it's got 24 mile an hour, so 40k gearbox, as it says there, 5.4 tonnes. That is a Scorpio 550, £52,000, 2 metres square cubed, 3.7 tonnes, 9 mile an hour, collects rocks, 5.5 metre working width, 6.8 tonnes, 120 mile an hour, horsepower, sorry. Uh, that's that. McCormick, so we've got a McCormick tractor with a Flegel tank on the back. Here we go, so X7 VT Drive, 170, mark, sorry, 1,000, 190 horsepower, variable CVT engine, 350 litres of fuel, 31 mile an hour, which is the 50k gearbox, 8.1 tonnes, and then we've got the Flegel trailer, it's a slurry tanker, 95,500, oh, 95, pounds, 225 horsepower, 18 cubic metres, 9.5 tonnes, 15 metre working width. Um, as you can see, it takes slurry and digestate, 9 mile an hour. Oh. Oh, what's this? Oh, sorry. The photos are loading up, that's why. Let me just cancel that. Here we go. Telehandler, uh, £99,000. 34 mile an hour, CVT, 9 miles an hour, 32 km, kilowatt hours it takes for the fuel, because it's electric, this telehandler is, and 4.8 tonnes, it's quite a small telehandler, but it's electric, it's worth every penny for the environment. Forage mixer wagon, £50,000, 120 horsepower requirement, 24 point, sorry, 24 cubic metres, 8.2 tonnes, uh, but fully filled, it will have 11.2 tonnes. It will wait. Following stuff below. Half pipe trailer on the back of the class. Axiom 870 800. I don't know why they're the wrong way around. That's class. £185,000 the tractor cost. 205 horsepower. It has CVT 50k gearbox. 455 litres of fuel. 9.1 tonnes. The cramp. Um, half pipe, £39,500, it's a trailer, 12.1 tonnes, sorry, cubic metres, 6 tonnes, 16 tonnes, fully loaded, following stuff below. That was the 3rd of September, this is the 10th, so let's get started. So we've got the Versatile Tractor, massive Canadian US style, uh, 352,000 wackaroonies. 665 horsepower, it's a power shift, so it is a manual, I do believe. 40k gearbox, 1298 litres of fuel, so it's a massive tank, and it's 19.1 tonnes. Rostelmash 
cultivator. It was more like a deep ripper. A hundred and one thousand pounds for that. Ooh, expensive. Three hundred and seventy-five horsepower required. Nine point two tons. Or kilograms, sorry. Yeah, it's tons, but you know, it's the weight in kilograms for some reason. How I set up. Uh, twelve point two meters, nine miles an hour. Well overpriced for what it is. Here we go. So we've got some Schaefer stuff. Seems like there's quite a bit that might be coming. I'll have to have a look. So here we go. Tellyhand looks a brand new brand farm sim. Plant ET. Here we go. 99 kilowatts. Displaceable factories. Uh, inputs all of them. Outputs that. 435,000 wackaroon. It's not cheap. But Tellyhand though is actually more expensive than the first one we've already gone through. 204 horsepower CVT engine, 185 litres of fuel, 80 miles an hour, which is slow. 12.5 tonnes it weighs. Here we go, so the John Deere 7810. That is a nice looking tractor. And a cedar, or well, a planter, I do believe. So £99,500 it's cost. It's a manual, 24 mile an hour. 7.3 tons, 344 litres of fuel, and 175 horsepower. Moving on to the Presetta 4500-2C Super. 49,000, it's a planter, 150 horsepower required, so that can happily use it. 15,080 litres of seed, I do believe. It's 2.3 tons, 4.5 metres, 9 mile an hour, it runs at... And drills the stuff below and uses seed and fertilizer. Moving up to the fence. And then we're up to date. So the fence is a forage harvester, so Katina 650, 395,650 horsepower, of CVT variable, 1225 litres. 24 mile an hour, 40k gearbox, harvest the following, or yeah, I think it's harvest or releases the following crops, and 15.7 tons, and then the header, crampy, or oh, oh, Kemper, sorry, this is forage harvester, 100,000 pounds, which in total this whole setup would cost 495,000 pounds. 650 horsepower is required, so it gobbles up the whole lot of the horsepower there. 3.3 tons, 7.5 meters, 6 miles an hour it runs at, and that's it. Right, okay. So that's it. Don't forget to pre order their farming simulator 22. There is a bonus. As you can see, it's the saddle track. And yeah. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye bye.